up, guys? It is John, the owner of the Game Master Guys, here. I'm Jeremy from the J Jugular channel, and this Let's Play will go good with some Turner Milk. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Sparkster28. And welcome back to some more Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald especially. Because the better version. Heck yeah, got the nugget. I bet you guys don't have a nugget. <laughs> I mean, like, in that area. No, I'm kidding, you guys probably do. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I already said welcome back. Fuck, what am I doing? Okay. Now, in the last part, we battled Flannery, and it was a hot battle. It was steaming hot. It was crazy. And I'm talking about, like, the gym itself, not the character. Sure you weren't. Alright, so just to warn you guys right now, it's a filler episode. So, yeah, if you guys like filler, then good for you. I'm just... Number one rule of filler, you don't tell them that it's filler. <laughs> well, hey, you gotta make you gotta make it stick out in some way. All right, so we're gonna explore the rest of the route um, triple one here in the desert area, and we're actually gonna get some fossils. Ooh, I love fossils. Do you though? So that kind of points to the fact that you love history. I thought you hate history. I do hate history. I mean, like I don't learn. Well, okay, the only fossils I like is Pokemon fossils and Animal Crossing fossils. So virtual fossils. All right, got it. Yeah. All, All right. right, and just like that, I immediately see the two fossils. So wow. do I. Meanwhile, I get it the the weirdest, bizarre way ever. Like, but I mean, I, I literally mean it. So uh, I guess between me and Chris, since we have Ruby and Sapphire, I don't really care because I know both of us don't aren't using fossils on our team. Which one are you gonna get? I don't even have a preference. Uh, let me see. We're at the root. Root gets you Lily, claw. and Claw gets you um, Anorith. Or Anoroth. Mm. Anorith, yeah. Anorith, and yeah. then Arnaldo. You know, I used to always think Arnaldo is kind of like an actual human name. <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'll, I want the Claw fossil. That's fine, I don't care. I'm not using them anyway. Is that the left or the right? So I'll take the opposite. Alright, so I'll, I'll take the Claw. I'm, I'm taking it now. Okay. Um, claw so fossil. I'll take, I'll take the Root fossil. And yep, and just like that, the other one sinks into the ground, because we can't yep. get Alright, so in my version, I had to go through the Mirage Tower in order to get this, because they made it more interesting to get it. And the Mirage Tower is weird, because it appears when it wants to, and you got, as you guys probably saw earlier, it didn't appear, but then as I came back to it, it just appeared randomly. So, I don't know, I'm in this illusional tower for some reason. So with that being said, are you able to get the fossils pretty much whenever the tower shows up? Yeah, but it, it's kind of like how you guys do. Like, if I pick one of the fossils, the tower will disappear forever. So this tower is here just for show. Also, oh, it's, a, that is, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a pain to get it because, like... Well, okay, so there's these holes they have to go through. And they, and if you step on it real quick, because for some reason, Maze a fat ass. Um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't, I know... I'm, ah! Is like everybody calling her a fat ass? I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Damn. What this, an idiot! This is a karma. Okay, so you have to use a mock bike in order to quickly bypass these holes so you don't fall in. And it's kind of a, a bit of annoying to do because of how weird the the mock bike is. It's easier said than done. Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'm just making it look like it's hard. Because the acceleration on the mock bike is weird. Because, like, stupid... Ugh. Once you start going, it's like it's, it takes a minute for it to actually get to top speed, basically, yes. right? Yeah, it's annoying. Okay. Um, there are trainers here in the desert as well. They have ground type Pokemon since we are in the desert. Um, and then there is a sandstorm region, so worry about little nips of damage that you might take. Yeah, there's nothing much in the desert except the Mirage Tower and, and Sand Tomb, but yeah. Um, I was gonna say something. So, if you guys remember when we were in Lobberidge Town, we picked up that egg. I think all of us picked it up from the lady right by the, um... I know I did. Yeah, the, sa the sauna, right? That's yeah, it was like, yeah, something like, yeah, sauna, the spa, whatever. So from that egg did hatch a why not? I know because I was actually leveling up my trap inch through the daycare, and I bought so much so I actually hatched the egg. So yeah, if you guys are interested in why not? Go for it. We probably aren't. I know we aren't actually. Because you can get a wobble fit. So yeah, I got <laughs> through it actually. You know, I was struggling for some weird reason. Well, then it lock back is weird. Oh yeah, you need rock smash too. 
Luckily, which I do already. This this spot looks like it could possibly lead to a cave or something. Chris, do you remember where Reggie Rock is in the games? I think it is in this in this place. Like where, where, where you think that cave is supposed to be. I honestly feel like that there's supposed to be something right here in this exact spot. It's like three rocks on the right and left positioned weirdly and then a big rock in the middle. There is. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. So yeah. I'm taking claw yeah. fossil. You know, I have no yeah, preference. Are, are you talking about this, this, this big rock where there's like six rocks surrounding it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's where you get Reggie Rock. Interesting. Oh. Bye, Mirage Tower. It literally just sunk. <laughs> Remember, if you run into a trap and it has arena trap, just like Diglett's and Dugtrio of like Fire and Leaf Green. So escaping it is kind of a, a bitch. But Not all of them do, though. Yeah, so I think it's a, hit, a hidden ability for it, it might be. Or no, a, secondary. a secondary one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But, uh, I'm officially out of the desert. So. Oh, yeah, me too. There's nothing special in that desert. Like I said, if you want Sand Tomb, go ahead. You can take it. If you're yeah, yeah, the team at the bottom, yeah, I got that. Same seas. I don't want it, unless you're- unless you really want it, go ahead. No thank you, old lady, I've already fucking did that enough. Alright, let's go to Lava Ridge Town. Really wish that we had fly right now. <laughs> it would be very useful to just not have to do all this walking, but you know what? Let's exercise, we, we need it anyway, we've been inside for too long. Oh yeah, definitely. I need to get some more Pokeballs anyways, and maybe I should consider getting repels? Good grief. Good grief. I got a rock. Oh, you got a rock! You got a rock! I'm kidding. Yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested. Okay. Back to Lava Ridge Town. Um, oh my god. Fuck Skarmory in all its entirety. <laughs> I remember you had a Skarmory when you played through Ruby on your own time. That's well, hard. for one, it just is hard to catch just because it's a bitch and a half. I threw like six great balls at it. It still didn't want to get in the ball. That's Garmin for you. It was a cool steal and flying tie before Corbin and I came in. That's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very fast, very fast, very. <laughs> so, big discussion question for all of us. What is your guys' favorite memory from Red, Blue, and Yellow Let's Play? Damn, why not why not something like Fire and Leaf Green or why not Gold, Silver, and Crystal? Why not Diamond Pearl and Platinum? We haven't even gotten there yet. Oh, true. Or better oh, yet, oh, why not Pokemon Brown? JK. Well Chris is the only one that did that, I think. No, he did no he didn't do brown. He did Team Rocket Edition. Yeah. I thought he did brown. Who did brown? Somebody no one. Did brown. <laughs> no one here did. No one. Well shit. Just like Pokemon Brown. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably thinking of someone else you watched that that's not part of the group. <sighs> probably. My right, favorite so Fossil Maniac is right here. I guess my favorite part I could say, well, not I'm not gonna say it's a Mewtwo moment because this is an overrated one. I'm trying to find something that's like very. I'm trying to find something super obscure. Oh yeah, my favorite part is when you did the cap. I, I forgot. Is there you were you Chris did the captain's one? I think it was you, Jeremy, and then you actually literally like. You, I don't know, your acting was so good, like, you actually- Oh, the rub thing? Yeah, the rub rub. <laughs> I was- I think Chris was dying laughing when I did that shit. Yeah, like, when- yeah, when you rubbing the cat- the, the, the captain's back, it was- I don't know, just the way how you- How you said it was really funny, I don't know. Rub rub rub- I don't know how the fuck I did it. I just remember Chris laughing hard as hell. I'm- I may have to go back and rewatch that, I don't really remember too much about that, but... I think my favorite part, it, it was, I think it was right before we entered the rock tunnel, and the first thing you hear when you play the video is Jeremy yelling racist. <laughs> I remember that too. Everybody was caught so off guard. Wait, well, it's the context though. What did I say? It was too I, black in no, there? No, I just, I just said racist. I was just like, fuck it. No, no, yeah, I think I, you said it was like, it's so dark in here that I said racist, like, as soon as you started. Dang. Yeah, it was, it was like the first thing you hear in the video before, it was even before John's intro. Wow. Because <laughs> I, I think whatever we were talking about before, I, I think like John may, may, may have, you know, made just just made a joke and, you know, Jeremy just, as soon as the recording started, he's just like, racist! <laughs> so, two things. Apparently, we can get the TM for Dig from the Fossil Maniac's little brother. Second thing is, this guy does not revitalize fossils. Yeah, you have to go all the way back to the Devon area to do that. Well, We've been led astray. Oh, well, hey, no. 
Actually, it's just not, it's not bad, much of a bad thing because we do have to go back there anyways. Since um, it is where it is our way to Petalburg in a way. Yeah, so we can we can just go there. So that means are we taking the long way through Marville or are we going to take nope. the way through Meteor Falls? We, through Meteor Falls is faster that way. Ah, all right. So it's not so completely... So it is not completely filler then. All right, go ahead. My favorite moment, if I had to think about a moment that was pretty funny, it's probably the end of the Let's Play when John, all of us were catching Mewtwo. John's box was fucking full, and he could not catch it. And oh, yeah. we were all just like, what the fuck? How did you <laughs> not clear out space in your box beforehand for all of this? Well, this is what Gen 1 was literally a toaster. <laughs> So and yeah, then all you hear is just John freaking out, going like, "What the fuck? No!" I thought my game glitched. That's why. Granted, he did redeem himself in Fire Red Green by actually, I think we all caught me too that. Yeah, time, we so. did, obviously. <laughs> and dude's a better, um, dude to like better, better mechanics and such, and advanced technology. And then that same episode was funny too, because we did our final Pokedex competition entry. Um, come to find out, Chris caught all 151 Pokemon. Yeah, he definitely did caught all 151 Pokemon. Definitely. <laughs> Damn, I wonder, included. I wonder how he did that. Well, well, to be fair, I did. In the video, you can actually see me catching Mew. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because you got Mew, because you did the Mew glitch. Yeah. Here's an obscure thing about, Fire, about our original Red, Blue, and Yellow. That's why we actually had a special guest in that video, and it was Kevin. Kevin actually appeared uh, in one... I remember that, yeah. Ah, he was co-commentating for one part. It was really random, but yeah, he was there. I think it was like uh, at, at the Nugget Bridge. Yeah, it was. Right. Now, now we're talking about Fire and Leaf Green moments. It's definitely the blue moments. Everyone loves the blue moments. It's like the mo what? Did you make Blue's voice more and more annoying, like with yes. every encounter? <laughs> yes, he screams. Yeah, honestly, my favorite part of Fire and Leaf Green yeah, is like the part right. When we're heading to Victor Road and you know he just he's just screaming as 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 he's coming up to us. That part was hilarious. <laughs> I remember jumping it. It's like ah, <laughs> it just starts screaming. Literally that day, I was hoping we do it in the daytime when my parents are at work, so that way they wouldn't be weirded out. Cause yeah, I was home alone obviously to do that, and it was perfect. Cause it happened and it went out the way I'd wanted to, and then and I just slid past it while Jerry was still trying to go back in that topic on what the hell happened. Um, just so you guys know, when you walk to the Devon Corp, walk up the stairs, and the first guy that should be to the left is the guy that you talk to, and like the bottom right computer. Alright, I'll talk to him the bottom left computer instead. Okay, so do we have to step out? It takes a long, let me guess, I have to walk outside and walk back in. Long time, right? Yeah, because it's... I forgot, you said bottom right, right? Yeah, bottom right. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> I don't know if it's different for Emerald though. It should no, be it's, the, it's same. the same. Okay, but literally, how would you know that this guy, out of all guys here, is the fossil guy? Like, what? I don't even know. I just started talking to all of them because I know this is going to be a reach for me to find the guy that actually is the right one. I was like, it's only two floors, so. They all look the same. And with that, we got. I got Lily. Alright, right, let me. Get... I gotta make room in my party for this. Oh yeah, my egg is still hatching. Oh no, still coming along. Alright, granted, Cradley is a really good Pokemon, like, once you evolve and whatnot, but for me, to be honest with you, I don't have any type of, like, care to want this, so, PC you go. Yes, yeah. same with same with me, I'm gonna put Anna with on the PC. Now, now, if we're talking Fire Leaf Green moments, I don't really remember anything too much from Fire Leaf Green that was memorable, at least. Um... The blue moments were good. Oh yeah, it's probably something until I look back. There are some other funny moments that I, I, I remember having besides that, but I just don't remember. I don't, like... Like, there was actually some legitimate funny moments. I just don't remember what parts, though. Like, as much as I would like to, because I do a lot of videos and such, and it's hard for me to really keep track of what's going on. Like, what about you, I, Chris? I, he already said his, he already said his moments. What's the blue moments, he said. Oh, shit. I thought your moments were the blue moments. No, I think he felt the same way. Well, like, that's all we can really remember. Well, then again, I just brought it up as well. All right, so I was gonna get, we're just gonna stop by at Petalburg City. So I'm gonna make my way through the Petalburg Woods. Damn. That's what the unique part of Hoenn is. Like, I know people's... Like, I don't know, like, after playing through later Pokemon Generation, like... Oh, wait, later Pokemon Generation, especially short and sealed of how linear the, the routes are. 
Like, it makes me appreciate the backtracking that Emerald has and Ruby and Sapphire. Like, I know some people aren't fond of backtracking, but this game, I feel like they did backtracking right, because they make Cohen feel more expansive and alive, and you just literally, like, go around, and, like, it doesn't, like, each route you go to, it doesn't feel completely useless, especially the journey that we've been through from Pelleberg all the way to Lava Ridge and just going back around. I don't know. I just want the backtracking a bit kind of fun. I feel like they handled backtracking right in this game, in my opinion. And then Pokemon. Gen 4, Gen 4 took that and expanded it <laughs> to where we got sick of it. Oh gosh, I think that's just a slow mechanics, but yeah. See so you guys back at Pedalberg. Uh, yeah. Well, guys, this has been a pretty longish journey. You know, back from part two. I think it was part two, part three. Maybe it was part. No, it was part three. I think I don't even know. Part two or three. We were literally underestimated by Norman, by our dad. He was like, oh, you suck. You're not ready for this. Go. Go battle Roxanne instead. But now here in the upcoming for part 17. No, part 16. Sorry. <laughs> I had to double check. This is where we're going to battle Norman. And we're going to prove him that we are that we're just not just kids. We're grown men. Well, I'm playing and a girl. Something. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, look forward to the next part, guys. This is going to be a family family resolution here you do not want to miss this part so thank you for watching guys i do hope you enjoyed this and for and for the next video we're gonna be battling norman and kick his ass so look forward to that so until then i'll see you guys in the next video take care peace bye everyone